big light. What's up guys check it out you're looking at the heavyweight champion of the sled pull competition for the open class anyway now we didn't go by no particular strict rules that's to be honest it was probably too heavy a little bit not much but a little bit when i had but so was the a couple other trucks so it was all for fun it wasn't no big deal anyway we won with the black high raxes and you know what i actually kind of grown fond of these tires being on there and i'm putting them back these tires are super heavy but it's also hard on your motor now if you've seen the video at the end when we was having fun this truck when i won i pulled 10 pounds in the sled got a full pull uh but for fun i tried to go to 15 and with these tires we made it about three quarters down the track with these tires, I made it to about a foot within a foot of the line. I mean, it got there, but I didn't make it all the way still with 15 pounds in a sled. It was just too much. But still, we gave her a heck of a try. But my point is, is I like these tires. They're really soft. They hook up well, um, and they looked good on the truck. And the reason I'm wanting to put these back on for that look is my buddy gave me something for the truck. I'm going to wait to show you until after I mount these tires real quick. But then I'm going to show you what he gave me. And it looks awesome. So now then. I think that looks great. I don't know. It's growing on me. I love my white letters. I like the blackout look on this truck. And I am going to buy me some more 2.2 mud slingers. Because those are my favorite tires that I have. But I cannot get them off these rims for one thing. I glued them way too good. And... I have so much weight in here. I don't really think I need to go that heavy. I'm going to, if I get new ones, I'm probably going to cut these open and take the weight out and, and do about half in each wheel than what I have now. I have two rolls of lead weights in there, and I'm only going to put one in each wheel on the next time around. So anyway, now we got this baby looking good here. Let me show you what I got for it. Let's see what size is the best to look at. None. It's all right. My buddy's got the blue Ford high trail. And he keeps it a shelf queen. He doesn't scratch it up. And I believe, I don't know if he got the black row bar on his and he switched it to the chrome one. Or if he had already got the chrome one was going to switch to the black and he didn't do it. But he gave me this and it's awesome let's see what's these screw holes there I don't know. But anyway i've been wanting the chrome roll bar and now that i got the black one i realized that i actually like it better for this truck it's just what it needs so we can keep the whole blackout theme going with it for a while other than the red shocks and the red winch and the chrome and gold axles whatever but I'll have to figure out how to drill holes or get new light buckets or just put a light bar on top. I might do a light bar on top of that instead. I don't know. But then it takes away the look. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.
All right, guys. Well, I'm sitting here uh, kind of tinkering with this thing here. Let me turn my lights on brighter. There we go. And I was noticing the way they want you to mount this, in order to put these big things right here have to go down through the body. So you have to drill a hole that's 13 millimeter for this whole big thing right here to sit in. And then put these pieces here go on the bottom side and you put screw through, I guess. 13 millimeter, that's a half inch hole they want right here. I gotta put a half inch hole there, half inch hole over there, and then like three eighths up here or something. Uh, so I'm not up for all that. I don't wanna really put that big hole in the body. I don't really have to, but what I'm thinking to get the same result. I'm going to drill a little hole, but I'm going to cut these off flush. I don't really care if it's right. I'm going to cut them off flush. I know I can still run my screw up into this. I will put a big old washer on the bottom of the screw. Sure, if I go flipping over and wrecking it a little easier to rip out maybe than what it would be with a big half inch hole in that piece, I think it could rip even easier. So I don't know. What I think, though, is, I don't know yet. I might make the bigger hole, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to cut that off. Flush mount it, put a screw with a washer on the bottom, be done with it. Same here. You know, if they were all that size, it wouldn't bother me. But, man, half inch. If I ever take this off there, that's a half inch hole in the body. I don't want that. I'd rather have just a screw going through, and then I can always... You wouldn't even see that hole if I took it off. But anyhow, we'll get it on there my way. My daddy always said there's two ways to do things. There's the right way or my way. And they're both the same. So, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Earlier today, I finished getting that mounted. And just like I said, I cut them little tabs off the bottom so I could get the flush mount without drilling a giant hole. This way, if I want to take these off, they just have tiny little holes in there. It won't hurt nothing. So, I used the screw in the bottom. I just used a big washer. I mean, hey, if it rips out of there, it rips out. Who cares? I don't. Not that bad. I think it'll be just dandy, to be honest. So there, that looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. So now, seen i got my garage all cleaned out yesterday we did the whole mop the floor by hand <laughs> so we got her all cleaned up so i was thinking about up here even though I, I actually got this clean i might go ahead and maybe set that up with the couple of my drivers again up here make them a little loft i don't know that way it takes up less room down here I like to decorate down here so it's in the back background when I'm working on the trucks, but uh, I hardly do any tripod work, which I need to start doing more of, but <clears throat> it takes up a lot of space on the desk up here if we put too many things, so I'll put a few little things, but not too many. There's no bathroom here, still going good. Not only is she a sled pulling machine, but she's flexible as well. That's the four tire flex right there. Not the biggest tires, but it's the four tire flex. And yes, it will go front and back. You gotta love them desert lizard shocks too. I sure do. Well, we can also do the dual four tire test that's what I call it we go two front two back she likes to twist well all right guys we uh we got the loft up here kind of organized a little bit for the time being we got stereo and tv well at least some speakers we got a boom box over here but 
skateboard, shotgun. Uh, she's riding a skateboard. You see he's up here having some re recreational time and uh, jamming the guitar. She's rocking out with an RC car. I suppose she's running that baby around. So, so we got a, uh, I don't know what that'd be, a slash, I guess. And then we got us a gladiator right here with some motorcycles in the back. And we got a six by six that she runs. So anyway, I think we're going to wrap this one up. And I'm going to go out here. It's kind of nasty out. But when I get back from the storage stuff, I'm going to go out and take this baby for a rip. Probably not without all the wood in the back. But we're going to go hit the course on the next video. So please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.